What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian and today we'll be showcasing another full like, character mod for Elden Ring. Now this time this is a character from another anime and manga that I love very much and it's a Zoro from One Piece. Now I know a lot of people who watch my videos because of my Discord, I know y'all are weebs as well. And just the commenters, I see y'all's profile pictures. I know. Now I know everyone is going to make the joke. What happened? Did Zoro get lost and somehow found his way in the land between? Well, yes, I guess. If you want a very immersive experience playing Zoro in Elden Ring, then yeah, totally go with that. So this awesome character model actually comes from a One Piece fighting game called Burning Blood. Uh, it released in 2016. And honestly, I didn't even know this game existed until I made this video. And from looking at some gameplay, honestly, it looks a bit like a Jump Force and the Kill the Kill fighting game. So it looks like a pretty run-of-the-mill anime fighting game. But apart from that, this model actually looks really great and it looks amazing in Elden Ring with the lighting and everything. Now both the katanas you see Zoro holding are actually the modder's own model. So he made this specifically for Elden Ring and for this mod. And I think they look really impressive. Especially Kietsu, which is Zoro's red katana. The textures that were used on the blade look freaking awesome in game. And of course, he also has Shusui, which is his black blade. So the, the blade is black, but the tang on the sword, the full tang, is a purple and reddish color, which is really unique to this sword. Now there is a bit of clipping on the guard here of the sword with the hand, but still, when you're playing, you're not gonna notice this, obviously. And of course, the sword he's holding, the one in his mouth, is Ichimanji, the sword he got uh, when he was training as a kid. Now, if you don't know how to install mods for PC on Elden Ring, I do have a video about that, explaining it how to do it exactly, but if you do uh, once you install the mod on your computer and once you load up the game, you actually need Blade's entire armor set to see the entirety of this character. So the chest piece, the gauntlets, the greaves and the helmet as well are very important or the head will be really weird. <laughs> and to get Blade set, you'll need to complete Rani's questline, and you'll need to fight and defeat Blade. And to get Blade's wolf mask, you need to go on Celevis's rise, and then once you make your way to the top of the tower, you wanna take your horse and then you wanna jump on the outside of the broken parts of the tower, and you'll be able to loot the mask there. And for the katanas, Shusui is the Uji katana, and Kietsu replaces rivers of blood. So once you equip all of that, you should have everything you need and look exactly like Zoro. Now there's uh, so many things you can do with a Zoro build uh, if you want to run that. You could even change one of the swords to use a moon veil. However, you won't see the modded model unless you mess around in the files and you actually change the number of the file that is associated with the moon veil. But I mean, let's not get into that. It might also just bug out and not work anyways. But basically, if you don't mind playing with one sword that isn't uh, one of his from the anime, I would use the Moon Veil in uh, the main hand and then use whichever you prefer in the off hand. I would use the Uji Katana, which would be a Shusui. So you could do something like an Intellect and Dexterity build, or if you don't want to and you want to mainly use the Rivers of Blood, which is Kietsu, then you could easily do an Arcane and Dexterity build. Put whichever Ash of War you want on the Uji Katana and use the Occult Affinity to maximize your damage. But I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this and how you would build a Zoro build. So let me know in the comments below. Overall, this mod looks freaking amazing, so props to the mod author. Obviously, there are a few clipping issues, but I mean, that's what happens when you import character model from uh, one game to a completely different game, often a game that doesn't have the same engine. And honestly, I think those are small details, you won't notice them anyways while playing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. I'm currently working on a build, so there should be one uploaded either Saturday or Sunday. If you want more Elden Ring content, there is plenty more on my channel. So have yourself a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you all very soon.